In this lesson, we are going to download and install NVIDIA Omniverse Code. If you don't know what NVIDIA Omniverse Code is, I'll record a short video later explaining it. If it's out by the time you're watching this lesson, a card should pop up at the right top corner right about this time. You can go over, watch that, and return to this lesson. All right then, we're going to first begin by downloading NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher, which is what we need to download Omniverse and the other apps. Let's begin then. So in your browser, visit nvidia.com. The link to the Omniverse Launcher would be in the description. So you can click it and be redirected to the exact official download page. But for those of you who want to type it in your browsers directly, that's nvidia.com. If you are following by typing in the website name in the browser, you should land on a page that looks like this. If you clicked on the link in the description, you should land on a page that looks like this. For those following by typing in the website name, on NVIDIA homepage, please click on products page at the top menu over here. Now from the products page, go over to the software section over here. Now in the software section, go to apps and tools. Under apps and tools, click on 3D workflows, Omniverse. This should bring you to the same page we saw a few seconds ago. Now click on get started button right here. This should bring you to the NVIDIA Omniverse licensing options page. What we want is the free version, which is the standard version. Let's scroll down quickly to see what we are getting when we click on download free over here. Now for NVIDIA Omniverse, you need to first create a free account before it allows you to download the launcher. There's really no way around it because when you download the launcher, you first need to sign in with the details you created here before you're allowed to download NVIDIA Omniverse Code and other apps we will install later for our synthetic image generation workflow. So please fill in the details and hit submit. Once you're done, the download should begin. When your download completes, we will move on to installation. Installation of NVIDIA Omniverse Code. Good, our download is done now. Please click on it to begin the installation process. Allow the NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher Setup Wizard to run its course. Select the necessary folders where you want it to be installed on your computer. Read any necessary agreements. Tick if you agree and click Next as with any normal software installation. When your download is done, this window should pop up. If it doesn't, go to the desktop and look for this icon and open it. Now enter the email you created with your NVIDIA account. Now what happens with NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher is that after entering in your email address that you signed up with, it will ask you to head over to your browser to verify before granting you access to Omniverse Launcher. Yes, I know it's weird, but that's NVIDIA for you. It's probably for safety reasons. Okay, so let's head over to the browser to verify our login. So you should see something like this in one of your browser tabs. Now head over to your email to see if they have emailed your verification code. So in your email, the very first email should be the authentication message from NVIDIA. Please open it. Now click on the verify email address and a new tab should pop up authenticating your email. Great, here we go. Our email has been authenticated. A window like this should pop up asking for permission to open the application. Since this is the first time and we don't want to be clicking open NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher every single time, simply check the box here that says always allow. Read through this agreement, scroll all the way down and click continue if you agree. Do the same for the data collection section. We're almost done. Here are a few things that we need to make sure that the content will properly go to where we need it when we create it. So honestly, there isn't much that I changed here, the default locations work pretty fine. Click continue to continue. So one last thing, I highly recommend that you install Omniverse Cache. It really helps your application work a whole lot faster. So click install cache. Once you click install, you should see a window loading with a tiny box saying first launch. Now, if you look to the top right corner of our window, you should see the cache downloading. It will automatically install once it's done downloading. Okay, the cache is done now. Now click on library 
on the top left corner to view the cache we just installed. Here's the cache we just installed automatically. Now I want us to install what is known as Nucleus, which we can find at the top beside the LEN tab. So in simple terms, Universe Nucleus simply helps you to collaborate with other people on a piece of work you are currently undertaking. Click on Create Local Server. This is the location where your Nucleus files will be stored. It's important to make sure that it can accommodate large files. Click Next. So now we are going to create a separate administrator account for Nucleus. You will use these login details to log into your Nucleus and carry out any collaboration work. Keep in mind, it's best to make the password different from what you use to create your NVIDIA account. Fill in the details and click on Complete Setup. Let's wait for the server installations to complete. Waiting for all necessary downloads to complete. Installing now. All done now. If you recall, we had three icons at first on this Nucleus dashboard. Here was the dashboard before we installed the local server. We had connect to a server, create a local server, which we just did, so it's no longer there, and create cloud server. Now let's finally download our NVIDIA Omnibus code. Click on Exchange, which is at the right next to the Nucleus tab. You should see something like this. Search for the app code, C-O-D-E. There it is under Apps. Click on it. Now, as of the time of recording this, the 2023 beta version is out. But based on my personal experience, it's not too stable for the purpose of this course. I recommend downloading and working with the 2022 release version, which I have found to be more stable. Now, keep in mind, the NVIDIA Omniverse code is quite a large piece of software. So please make sure you have enough internet data to download and your laptop is connected to a reliable power supply. Before you hit install, make sure that this section says 2022 3.3 and this section says release. Click on install at the top right corner to begin. Installing now. Now over here, you can see the file is downloading. It's 1.70 gig, but that's not the only file that will be downloaded. There will be some other supporting files. Almost done with the Omniverse code 2022 3.3 release version. Keep in mind that the installation can take several minutes, and I mean several minutes to complete. So please be very patient with it. During the installation, you'll be presented with a window like this. Click Allow and let the installation continue. All done now. If you notice, the Install button has now changed to Launch. Click on Launch. You should see a splash screen like this. When the app opens, it will look something like this, with the RTX loading. Now, you might notice that at the top right corner, the Max Memory and Available Memory section might show in all red. This looks like you are running out of memory. Don't worry too much about it. From what I have observed, after a few days, it usually disappears. I think the app learns how to be more resource efficient with the specific device it's operating on. Great. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we created an NVIDIA account that we needed to install NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher with it. Then from the launcher, we downloaded and installed cache which we needed to help us in helping applications run more smoothly. After which we created a local nuclear server. We would use that for collaboration work later on. Finally, we installed an earlier but more stable version of NVIDIA Omniverse code. In our next lesson, we would set up the preferences of NVIDIA Omniverse code so that we can work more productively, especially if you're coming from the world of Blender 3D. All right then, I'll see you in the next lesson.